The Dallas Mavericks just shared the first public details of an accident that Sean Bradley suffered. Sean Bradley. For Sean Bradley is now paralyzed. The most tragic NBA news of 2021 broke when former number two pick Sean Bradley was paralyzed. The seven foot six man was hit by a car riding his bike. All the guy has ever wanted was to be happy, but from the time he entered the league, he was a target. Now, the 49-year-old will probably never walk again. But somehow, there's actually a silver lining to all of this, this video explains. Hey, it's Casey, welcome to AM Hoops. Opinions and stories to entertain so you can be a smarter NBA fan. Big member shout outs real quick to Drew Ledu and Nathaniel Murphy. Sean Bradley has had a positive attitude his entire life, which is really impressive. I mean, this dude is seven foot six. Do you know how uncomfortable that must be? Getting in a car is a chore. He had to duck constantly. The world is not meant for seven foot six people, but just listen to how happy he sounded back in the day. Have you ever sat down for an interview and had somebody not mention your height? No, I don't think I've ever talked to anyone that's not mentioned my height one time or another. That was before the NBA, when things were going great. I mean, he was seven foot four in high school and a top recruit. Bradley went to BYU because it aligned with his Mormon faith. He was super tall, but had the agility and footwork of a guy two feet shorter with great anticipation. Sean could have potentially gone number one in the draft, but he skipped it. Instead of taking millions of dollars in fame, he went door to door for two years spreading his Christian faith. Sean Bradley is from rural Utah and he always put his faith and family over basketball. That happiness though was tested after the 1993 draft. Chris Webber was picked first, Sean second to the Sixers. Philly invested a ton into this rookie. I mean, they acquired Moses Malone just to mentor Sean. They hired a strength coach and a dietitian to bulk him up. They made him the highest paid athlete in Philly sports history at eight years, 44 million, but he became a bust. Bradley shot just 40% from the field as a rookie. That is horrible for a big man shooting that close to the basket. His only elite skill was blocking shots, which was great for rim protection and for making it on posters. Bradley became a target. He is still one of the most dunked on players in NBA history. Everyone wanted to humiliate him because he was so tall and had so much hype coming out of the draft. Sean got a ton of blocks in his career. He's still 15th all time, but everyone from Kevin Garnett to Shaq to T-Mac had to get a piece of the Storm and Mormon. Sean was so inconsistent on the court that just 12 games into his third season, the Sixers traded him to the Nets. He did have some excellent games during the one and a half years in New Jersey and his nine years in Dallas after that, but he never lived up to that can't miss prospect at number two overall. It was also never easy being an extremely religious person in the rich, glamorous world of pro sports. While his teammates were going out all night, Sean stayed in being married almost from day one. One night, a team meeting was set up in a strip club and Sean just refused to go. Is this a strip club? Is this a topless bar or whatever? I said, yeah, but it's the only place we could find. I said, guys, you understand, I will not go there. They said, look, it's gonna be a $10,000 fine. You know, I'm like, guys, that's outside of my value system that I am not willing to do. And if you have to find me, you have to find me. That is the kind of person Sean Bradley was and is. A pro athlete that put his faith and family first with basketball a distant third. Sometimes that rubbed people the wrong way. Some say the reason he was inconsistent and never made an all-star team is because he was not willing to put in the extra work to spend time away from church and home. Can you imagine not fitting into the world at all at seven foot six, but also not feeling comfortable with the NBA lifestyle? Bottom line though, faith and family made him happy. 
Well, Sean finally did find peace away from church and home when he retired. He made about 70 million bucks and moved his family near where he grew up in Utah. He then became the vice principal for a school for at-risk kids dealing with things like drug abuse or eating disorders. He wasn't doing that for the money, obviously, but just to give back. Bradley and his family took trips around the world doing charity work. He and his wife went to India to help at leprosy camps. They went to the Middle East to help. And back home, he was a devoted dad helping his kids with life and of course sports. Then one day early this year, everything stopped. Sean was riding his bike when a driver clipped him into a parked car. His seven foot six body flew into the air and landed on the pavement, leaving him paralyzed after neck fusion surgery. In a statement, the Mavs said, quote, his very strong sense of faith is being tested as he participates in grueling physical therapy and learns how to cope with the challenges of paraplegia. That word, paraplegia, is chilling considering how light he was on his feet and agile in the NBA. In that same sentence though, is that silver lining. I truly believe that Bradley's faith will get him through anything, even this. It might even make his faith stronger. This is a guy that not only put his Mormon mission before the NBA draft and avoided temptations of his career, but his attitude about life was carefree. I mean, just look at his reaction here a few years ago when a TMZ reporter asked him a pretty embarrassing question. Who was the most impressive person you dumped over here? I mean, that was, it was like climbing the tree. I mean, who was the most impressive one? Well, you know what? The team had dumped on me when we played Houston in the playoffs. That one's got a lot of attention. Watching some of these young guys, the ones that don't shy away from, it's okay to get dumped on. Yeah, just go get them next time. This dude literally laughs at that question and then gives advice for young guys about getting dunked on. I mean, a lot of players' ego would be hurt and they would slap the camera out of that reporter's hands. Not Sean Bradley. And that exact same attitude can carry him through this latest test. Bradley obviously has something way more important than basketball in his life. Now he has to figure out how to put that faith above the ability to walk. I'm not saying that that would be easy. I wish he never had to deal with that but I do think he can. And really the twist ending to this story is the joke is on us. Bradley has been dunked on his whole life, called a bust, been out of place wherever he was, but actually he was happy the whole time because he was true to his values. This guy has been training his entire life for a test of faith this big. With everything he's overcome, I bet he comes out of this stronger and just as happy. I know that sounds crazy, but I really think that level of faith can get people through anything. All right, guys, so that was this week's Feature Friday. We're all praying for Sean Bradley. If you want to check out last week, it's the story of Matthew Della Vidova and what's happened to him. It's a rare what happened to when the guy's still in the league, but it's worth your time.